All right. Take a deep breath in. Take another one in and out. Make yourself comfortable sitting or standing, whatever it may be. We are going to be a tree. We're going to reach our roots down, down through the floor, down through all that is below us in our house, down into the earth, deep beneath our houses, around the rocks, through the soil, deeper and deeper into the earth, down around the boulders far below, down until we reach the bedrock, deep beneath the soil, beneath our houses. Follow this bedrock around until we find that pool of water, the cool, cold waters of chaos deep beneath the earth. We're going to pull these waters up through our roots, bring them up into our feet, into our legs. Feel these waters course through our loins and into our bellies. Bring these waters up into our chests, into our heads, through our arms, and back out into the earth. Feel these cool, cold waters running through our bodies, filling us with these towers from below. Then reach up into the sky, through the roof, up until you find that star high above your head. And pull down the light from that star. This is the fire of order, bringing down into your branches, down into your head, into your arms. Bring this light down into your chest and into your belly. Feel this light go all the way down through your legs and into your feet. Pull this light and fire from above. Pull this water from below. Mix these powers throughout your body. Feel the energy coursing throughout your body. The powers of order from above and the powers of chaos from below. Fire and water mixing throughout filling you with all the energy you could ever need. Enjoy this feeling for a moment. But realize that you need to send your powers back up to the sky and back down to the earth. But as we do, keep all that you need for ritual. Push the rest back down and up and break away from the sky, break away from the earth below, bring your branches and your roots back in. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And know that if you need this energy again, you can reach down and reach up. But for now, Rejoin us centered and ready for magic. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us, you who give us all this beauty of nature outside, give us all a place to live, you who give us your bounty through your food for all that you do for us each and every day so that we may be sustained here. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods. We are here to honor the kindreds. And we are here to ask for their blessings in return. First, though, let's recreate the cosmos. This well, as in all of our wells, is our connection to the underworld. We give you silver. We ask that you provide this connection when we call upon you. 
and we say sacred waters flow within us. And this fire is our connection to the upper worlds. We burn and transform and send everything up. We ask to do so what we call upon you. We say sacred fire burn within us. And this mighty tree, your roots go deep into the earth, into the wells far below. And your branches travel high into the heavens to where the shining ones are. We call on you to be our pathway between all the worlds. We say sacred tree grow within us. In my house and in all of our houses, by the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Now we go on gatekeepers all. You who have aided us many times in the past, regardless of what culture you may be, regardless if you're a magical beast, a god, or some other being. We call on you once more to aid us, to join us. We call to you to ask that you protect us as we walk these holy ways. We call to you and ask that you take our messages far and wide, that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. Mighty gatekeepers, accept our offerings. And now, yes, you join your magic with ours, and not just in my house, but in all of our houses, that the well open as a gate to the underworld, that the fire open as a gate to the upper world, and let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our voices and open to our spirits. Let the gates be open. Now, call it the shining ones. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of the elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, our patrons, our matrons, we offer you welcome. To you who look over our friends, our families, and all the cultures that we worship, we offer you welcome. And all of you of this place, you know to us or not. We offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And land spirits, you with fur and feather, scale and skin, all the animal can. We offer you welcome. And spirits, you with stick and twig, leaf and stem, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And all of you unseen, by all the many names you go, our house spirits, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And ancestors, you of each and every one of our histories, our families, 
we offer you welcome to each and every one of you who are chosen families and our friends we offer you welcome and to each and every one of you of where we are living whether you are known to us or not we offer you welcome come join us by our fire ancestors accept our offerings At this point, if there are any offerings that people wish to make, please do so now. I make this offering a call for general peace and heading back to normalness as we go through the many months to come. There are no more offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we have given to you. We give to you one last time. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And mighty kindred, as we have given to you, we ask in good gospel tradition for gift calls for gifts. We ask what blessings do we receive? So shining one. What blessings do you give us today? <laughs> the shiny ones give us better cattle and wealth. Land spirits, what blessings do you give to us today? <laughs> uh, they give us Yara, the harvest in cycles. It is that time of year again. Ancestors, what blessings do you give us? They give us Perthra, the dice cup, games, and champs. While the Shining Ones and the Advanced Spirits are giving us bounty, the Ancestors are reminding us that this is tempered with chance. It is our actions that will cause us to have the bounties, and it will be our actions that cause us to lose the bounty. I think this is a good omen. I think this is the only that we need to meditate on. But for now, ancient mighty ones, we have given to you, and you have given us these omens back. Fill my waters and fill the waters of everyone that is watching. Fill them with the bounties we have just received. Fed root and the cattle and wealth that it brings. Yara and the harvest that it calls for. And Perthro, the chance that it reminds us to temper all worth. Behold the waters of life. Now, we thank all that have aided us in our lives tonight. Ancestors, you of our families, you of our friends and chosen, and you of this place, for all that you have done for us, ancestors, we thank you. 
dance spirits. He fur and feather and all the animal kin, whether physically here with us or not. You of the plants and skin, and you of the unseen spirits, for they have done dance spirits. We thank you. And shiny ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you watch over each and every one of us, and you of the places where we live, all we have done, shiny ones, we thank you. Go on the gatekeepers, each and every one of you that have created us a task. And all who have aided us tonight for all the work that you have done for us and all the work that you do for us throughout these many years. Gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask that once more you join your magic with mine, and not just in my house, but in all of our houses, let the well become a water once more. Let the fire become a flame once more. And let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you're always first in our thoughts, you're always last in our thoughts. For without you, we would not be here. Without you, we would not survive. The quality that we do for us, Earth Mother. We thank you. Now, go now, we wish them in peace. This right present.